In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the Push Daddy live chat Shopify app. So first things first, we want to go to the app store and we want to go ahead and press the install button here and we want to go ahead and install it on our store. So first things first, once we've actually installed it, we want to go ahead and activate the app in our theme settings. Now you can see the app for me is slightly messed up and it might look like this for you too. But we're going to go ahead and click the activate in theme button and it should open up your Shopify store just like this. And on the left hand side where it says app embed, you should be able to turn it on here. And once it's turned on, you can click save and that means you're going to see the pop up now. So you can see the pop up is at the bottom corner. So that means it's live on your store. Now, if you're experiencing it being a little bit buggy, then I would recommend opening it in incognito. That's what I've just done now. And you can see it's actually fixed it a little bit. So first things first, we're going to go down here and this is the active support we've got set up. So we can go here and press edit. And the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and sort out the contact list. So that's just up here. And we can go ahead and first things first, add our phone number. So this is the phone number that we're going to be replying to the live chat with. So put your phone number in here and it says, make sure you include the country code at the start, just like this. Next step here is you can give the agent a name. So this is the name that they're going to see. And you can also give them a role. So I've just put them in sales here. Next up, we can give them an avatar. So you can pick one of these avatars here, or you can go ahead and actually upload a custom avatar. Now to do that, you're going to want to go to the Shopify admin and files section. If you press this button, it should open it up here. Click go to files, and you can actually go ahead and upload a file. And then you want to go ahead and copy the link to that file. So I've copied the link here. Go back over to the app and paste that in. And that's going to show up, if you press this here, that should show up as the avatar from now on. The next thing we can turn up, turn on is the automated email for cart recovery. So this is going to automatically email people if they have um, abandoned a cart. Now you can turn this on or off depending on if you use a different service. Down here is the hours that the chat is available for. So you can select those and you can go ahead and click save and click save and that should set up the number. So now the live chat should be ready on your website. Now if we scroll to the bottom of the page here, we have some theme settings. So we have the mobile number and design. We can go down here and we can change the uh, chat type. So there's mobile, I mean there's WhatsApp or there's live chat, pick that. You can also select the chat type on the desktop. And then you can select the positioning, you can select the whip, all of that kind of stuff. You've also got um, these different settings here. Now these are blurred out, but if you hover over them, it's going to tell you what it is. So um, you've got all the different options that you can have on as widgets. And you can go across and just look at the different widgets here. Now I would just keep it at default. You've got the button design so you can have a normal, compact, very compact or fluffy. You can just basically mess around with all of these different settings until you get the look that you like. Next up we can go down to colors. So you've got background color, text color, all that kind of stuff. You want to customize the colors. Or you can use one of their pre-built color mixes. So these are already pre-made to look nice. Now if you look on the bottom right hand corner of the page as we're doing this, you can see that the button is changing. And this is what it's going to look like on the website. So pick a color that looks cool for you that you like. Next up we've got the text configuration. So this is the text inside the chat box. So you could change to something like ask us a question. And you could do the same for mobile if you wanted to. Then this is the pre-filled message. So when they click on it, a pre-filled message will come up. And you can change it if you would like to. And if it's offline, you'll have this message here. Now, by default, they'll have a message that comes into the chat. So this is the one that's going to start off. You can also change this. There's lots of other settings you can change in here. So you've got um, parameters they might look for. And, and you've got some reply messages, automatic reply messages. And you've also got this multi-language setting here. These are some more button settings. And then we have some call to action configuration stuff. And you can preview this. This is just some stuff like that. You can add animations, all that kind of stuff. You've got the email pop-up as well. 
and you can customize the email pop-up or you can just leave it off uh, this depends on if you have a different uh, email system set up like Clavio for example if we hover over the left hand side now you can see here they've got all of the different options so first of all we've got the chat bit so this is basically what we've just looked through all of the different settings here we have the share settings we have merge chats, advanced chat, pixels, all that kind of stuff. And next we have the WhatsApp automation section. So you can send automatic abandoned cart emails via WhatsApp if uh, someone's abandoned cart. And this is great because it's free. Whereas if you were doing it through SMS, it would cost you maybe 5p per email, uh, per text, for example. So you can go ahead and you can actually edit this here. And um, yeah, you can sort out the automations. They've also got um, order forms, cash on delivery, discounts, all that kind of stuff here, which you can go ahead and edit. Now, once we're inside of the settings here for the um, automations, you can set a manual template or you can do an automatic template. The manual templates are here and you can say whatever you want in here and you can use these dynamic tags here. So you've got first name, order value, shop name, check out URL, discount value one. And you can basically mess around with these and these should get sent when somebody abandons cart. You can also check the automatic ones. So these are ones they've already got. You can just save that here. And this should be ready to go basically. Now something else we can create inside of here is the automations that help to, you know, stop you having to have a real person do this. So you can go over here onto the left hand side again, scroll down to where it says chatbot and you click on chatbot and then you can go down to create new scenario and the first thing we're going to add is well you've got the bot welcome message here and then you can add a visitor reply so the button here this is a button that's going to pop up so you could be like where is my order this is going to be the button that the customer presses and then the bot can reply and say um, well you can have some uh, replies to say please allow allow seven to ten days for your item to arrive and then you can save that make sure you have a scenario name at the top so the first one and then once you've saved it you can go ahead and this should work when someone has a question now if we go across onto our Shopify website here we can click on here we go to live chat and we can click on this button here and now you can see that we can send a message through and it will go ahead and direct us to WhatsApp so we can talk with them through WhatsApp. So that's basically how you set it up. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.